Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to share with you four resources for Webflow users. Are you a Webflow user? I am a Webflow user and these amazing resources can help you while building projects using Webflow. So stick until the end to find out all the four resources that I will share with you in this video. My name is Kaiwa, I'm the Chief No-Code Officer here at We Are No-Code. And in this channel, we talk all about no-code. And we also help you in this no-code journey, learning how to use those no-code tools to create your startup business idea. So, are you into this no-code space? Are you already using no-code? Are you new to no-code? If you are interested in no-code, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also Leave the thumbs up on this video. Let's talk about the four resources that I want to share with you in this video. First tool I want to share with you today is called MemberStack. MemberStack can help you create user logged in areas. So member areas, memberships. So let's imagine you have this scenario. You are building a website and you want to be able to let your users access some specific pages. But to access those specific pages, this user has to create an account. So MemberStack is a tool that allows you exactly to do that. And you can also charge for that access. So you can create member areas and subscription services as well that people will register, sign up, pay to have access to some specific pages. So this is all MemberStack does. They have amazing tutorials on how to set up everything. They have videos, they have templates you can use. So if you're looking to build login functionality inside your Webflow projects and allow your users to create their own accounts with their own passwords, login, if you want to do everything custom branded, if you want to have a custom onboarding process as well, you can do this using MemberStack. And as I said, you can also charge people to actually access that gated content inside your Webflow project. And it's very customizable. You have a bunch of resources here. You have showcases that you can see. They have also templates you can copy. You can see how they did it. Um, how to set up, you can also copy some clonable to get started in a faster way. So it's really nice because then you have a way to manage it. You have a way to manage all the users you have and you can build amazing projects using member step with Webflow together. So I recommend you going to their website, checking the freebies and templates, reading the blog, help center. And also if you end up registering for their service, which is paid, and you can always talk to the support team that will help you fixing any issues that you might have while building this project inside Webflow using member stack. And by the way, we use member stack. Hey, if you want to learn more about the no code space, we prepared a free course just for you. In this free course, we teach you how to launch your startup business idea without being a technical person and without writing code yourself by using no code tools so i invite you to go down below on the video description section there is a link there click there and enroll for free in this free course we offer yeah why not it's free just do it right now also don't forget that all the links for the tools that i'm sharing with you today in this video will be available on the video description section down below so make sure to go there and check all the links. The next resource is member space and member space is an alternative to member step. So it's kind of a primary competitor for member stack. So member space does the same thing of course, not exactly the same way. By the way, I just want to mention that member space and member stack also work with other tools rather than just Webflow. But as I am a Webflow user, I am talking about Webflow for now. So you can use this with other no code tools like I just mentioned and pretty much you do the same. You have the member space area, you can create logged in pages, you can create gated content, you can have a place that your users will only access if they are using their login and password accounts that they created using this service, for example. So I also encourage you to come to the website and see all the integrations that they have, how they work and check how you can use the service and how the service works as well. Jetboost is another resource for you if you're building Webflow projects and also if you're looking to build dynamic filters, real-time searches, and other cool features inside Webflow. As we know, sometimes some no-code tools don't have all 
all the features we need so it's nice to have these other services and resources available for us so we, we can improve the way we work with existing no code tools so JetBoost is an alternative solution for you to plug in inside your webflow project and create like i said real-time search dynamic filtering and other cool stuff so basically if you're looking to create a page inside webflow that has a search feature that you can filter the specific results coming from the cms that you have built in inside your webflow project that can be a powerful tool for you to achieve that goal so yeah that's jet boost it's amazing i've seen a lot of websites using jet boost and it really works and can make your projects go even further and create amazing more complex projects using webflow and using jet boost as well so they have the setup guides help guide as well always teaching you how to properly implement and they also have resources they have vulnerables that you can use some templates as well uh, so this can make your process even easier and faster and smoother by using the filters and the clonables that they provide for you as an example and you can start from there that's jet boost the next resource i want to share with you is called wiglot and wiglot is a resource a website a service that helps you translate websites and it works with webflow but also works with other types of no code tools and other types of projects as well uh, in this case i'm talking about webflow specifically but you can use wiglot's service to translate your page into multiple languages in this way you can have your website in multiple languages in multiple uh, versions for specific languages that you want your website to be so you can translate your website you can have your website in multiple languages all by using wiglot's service within webflow so basically you come to the website you can see how it works you can see the resources the resource library the help center the guides and everything to figure out how to set up this inside your webflow project and then this way people navigating through your webflow projects can select their own languages and translate the whole website just with one click that's really nice right so these were all the resources that i wanted to share with you in this video if you liked any of the resources don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video also subscribe to the channel if you're new here if you're not subscribed yet so you can continue learning about no code tools and continue in this no code journey thanks for watching so far i see you on the next videos let's no code